Hey there, my artists. Today we're gonna learn about the American artist, designer, and businesswoman, Laurel Birch. Laurel is best known for her whimsical drawings of cats using a wide array of colors and patterns. Alrighty, so getting started with our drawing, we are going to sketch lightly a circle in the top left part of our picture, but we wanna make sure that we leave enough space at the top for the ears. Now for the mouth, I'm sketching a line going down in the lower part of the circle, and I'm going to curve my line out and around, and it's going to meet back up with the circle line that we initially drew. I'm going to draw the same line on the other side, making sure that they are as symmetrical as possible. Next, I'm going to make a small U shape for the chin, and I'm going to make a little V at the bottom for the nose. Now, I'm going to have my line go up from the corner of the V, and it's going to go up and out. And this is going to be the top part of the cat's eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, trying my best to make sure they are even. Then I'm going to make a curving line going down for the bottom part of the eye. After that, I'm going to have two curved lines inside the eye. If you would also like to add a pupil, you can. Now it's time for the ears. My line's gonna start at the corner of the eye and it's going to go up and inward. Then I'm going to have my line go down. I'm gonna have a horizontal line across. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the other ear. Inside each ear, I'm going to include an upside down V just to show a little detail and depth. Next, I'm going to draw the whiskers. My lines are going to curve down and out, and I'm gonna have each whisker be a little bit shorter than the last. Now it's time to draw the arch of the back. Starting at the bottom of the ear, our line is going to curve out and around. This is going to be a long, continuous line. Now it's going to curve around, kind of like a backwards S. If you need to make this curvy line in smaller portions and littler sections, feel free. Next, we're gonna start rounding out the tail with a curved line. Our line is going to continue and it's going to follow that backwards S that we just drew. Now on the other side of the cat's face, down by the whiskers, we're going to draw a line going down and it's going to curve at the bottom. We're actually gonna have two curves and these are going to be the paws of our cat. On each paw, I'm going to draw three vertical lines for the toes. Then to finish it off, I'm gonna have a vertical line going straight up to separate the legs. Next, I'm going to trace over all my pencil lines using a Sharpie marker. As I was tracing the eyes, I decided to add two large dots for pupils. Now that all my Sharpie lines are traced, I'm going to go ahead and erase any pencil lines that are still showing. Using a crayon, we're going to start drawing our pattern design. I decided that I wanted to have simple triangles for my pattern. Now, I'm going to encourage you to look at Laurel Birch's cats to get some ideas. She uses zigzag lines, polka dots, wavy lines, all sorts of different patterns for her cats. They're all unique in their own way. I'm gonna make my cat's design unique by adding different shapes and adding even more detail to my pattern. I'm gonna stick in the same color family with my warm colors, with yellows and oranges and reds and pinks. 
Um, I'm gonna even add some other detailed lines to the bottom, um, kind of by my cat's feet and tail, just to add a little extra interest. So really get creative with this part. So now that we've done our crayon drawings, we're gonna go ahead and add our watercolor on top. Now with our wax crayons, they are going to push away all the water and um, our lines are gonna show through. So it's a really beautiful crayon resist. Now I want you to pick two colors to paint your cat. I have chosen this beautiful magenta color and orange and we're going to be using those two colors to paint our cat with. Laurel's cats are often multiple tones, so I'm going to paint my orange at the lower part of my cat's face. So under the eye and on the chin, I'm going to be painting this beautiful orange. Next below the cat's face, we're going to paint that same magenta. Um, just use the same color that you used for the top of the cat and you're going to start to see your crane resist really coming to life here because this is where most of our pattern will be. Um, you're going to see the crayon pushing away the watercolor and it's really just a beautiful effect. Make sure for now that we leave the tail and the lower half of our cat's body white. We're going to leave the feet white. Um, the bottom part of the cat and the tail because we're going to be painting that beautiful orange color right there So it really pops against the body of the cat Now I'm going to be using that orange color again and we're going to start at the bottom of the feet and I'm going to paint a little bit over that magenta color and you'll start to see them blend together. I'm just very lightly kind of flicking my brush up um, so those colors blend together. And lastly, we're going to cover that last bit of white with our orange. Alrighty, my artist, that is how you make our Laurel Birch Cats. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make it and I can't wait to see what you guys create.